Well, as we all know, the big city markets of Sydney and Melbourne are absolutely red hot, in particular if you're looking at buying residential property close in. You know, I was at an auction in Sydney in Surrey Hills, a very trendy, close to the city suburb, just unbelievable. Must have been 20 people bidding at the darn thing. Do-it-yourself superannuation funds, first home buyers, baby boomers, overseas buyers, you name it. Absolutely red hot and the prices are really high. So if you're keen on property, should you buy elsewhere? Should you buy away from an area where you don't really know the market? This is a bit of a challenging one for me because for decades I've always said the market you'll know best is your own property market. You see the houses or the apartments up and down your own street. You understand values, you understand traffic flow, you understand aeroplane noise, you know the train station is X minutes walk, you know there's good coffee, you know there's a good doctor, the kids go to a great school. Makes it pretty easy, doesn't it? Because you understand. All I'd ask you to do is if you are going to buy interstate, and that's absolutely fine, Australia has a growing population, there are opportunities all over the place. Darwin, for example, I find really exciting. But if you are going to buy in a market away from your own home, think about why you understand your own property market. The factors I've already mentioned. I want you to write those down. And if you're going to buy away from home, take the factors that you know make for a good property investment and take that list to your new destination. So if you do go to Darwin or Adelaide or Perth or wherever you go, that's absolutely fine. But you're going to need to go, in my opinion, for at least a week. You're going to need to look at the traffic, listen to the aeroplanes. You're going to need to go to the property at 10 at night, 6 in the morning. You're going to need to understand local restaurants, local transport, schools and so on. If you're willing to put in the work, you can buy well away from home. But if you're not going to put in the work, my advice is very simple. Don't buy property in places you don't know.